It's time to find out the best way to make alcohol with fruit. This batch finished fermenting before I added blackberries, and now I'm going to compare it to a batch fermented with blackberries. So the fruit took up a lot of volume here, and so to maximize my yield, I'm adding a small brew bag to the tip of my siphon tube to sort of serve as a filter. At least this will prevent fruit chunks from getting transferred, and it actually worked better than I expected. You could avoid this altogether by just adding fruit to a larger brew bag instead of directly into the mead, but this worked out fine. This batch is much lighter than the first one, and I used the same berries and prepared them the same way, so that came as a surprise. Now let's have a taste. So the left is fruit and primary, which I'll call sample one, and the right is fruit and secondary, which I'll call sample two. First things first, the sage flavor is the exact same between the two, and it feels perfectly placed. But overall, sample one tastes heavier, bolder, earthier, and is much more similar to a wine, which I guess makes sense. It was made with fermented fruit. Sample two tastes lighter and has more of those delicate, sweet, fruity notes without the bitterness. Overall, in terms of what's easier, they're about the same in terms of the amount of work that goes into it. But for the taste of the finished product, they are quite different. I typically prefer the more full-bodied finish, like the first one, but 